Good morning everyone, this is another uh, tutorial uh, in our series and this tutorial will cover how to draw uh, structures and boundaries uh, using the template that you can download from the blog. I've loaded the base map, I've put the rec rectangle on top and I've set my page to landscape. This is the the final final drawing page. I want to um to, to have it in A4 format. I want to um to be able to um to, to print it in, in a format that is uh usable for the for the client and usable in, in the rest of it. Um so now what I need to do is I need to draw the uh fences and draw the house and draw the gazebo and the conservatory. So the way I do this um, I'll first look at the layers uh, again to turn on the layers you can go to menu layer and go down to bottom hit layers and that will turn on the layer uh, dialog box. I've got my base layer locked so unlock lock unlock lock there we go, I've got my structure layer highlighted because that's the one I want to work in. And now I'm hitting back in my drawing area. And I'm going to click the letter B for my Bezier tool. And again, you can turn it on in the left uh, toolbox here, just below the pencil and above the pen and this Bezier tool allows you to draw straight lines, curves and whatnot. I'll I won't go into detail, I'm just going to want to draw a few things today. So um I'm going to click once where I think this um thing starts. I'm going to click here again, I'm gonna hit enter and I will finish my drawing. And now I want to want to, to adjust uh adjust this um this this line for me this basically will be the fence of the property and what i want to do this is first i want to adjust it and second i want to change the color and width um, so to adjust it i'm going to hit n for my node tool and i'm going to grab this node at the end and i'm going to bring it closer to i think it's the beginning and then I'll grab the other node and basically it's, it's, it's like drawing again in this particular case I can adjust it now as you can see this snapping is on and I don't like it right now because I'm doing this freehand for um, for matching the map so I'm going to uh, disable snapping now and, and I'm looking how this aligns with uh, with my map I don't want to move my area too much. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say this finishes about here. So I've got that set. Um, I could draw the other one actually. So I'm going to hit B for Bezier tool. And I'm going to start this here. I'm going to finish this. Um say about here, hit enter. So I've got two lines drawn. Uh, I could go somewhere here and I can start outlining the house. So I'll start here, I'll go there and this is an extension which is flat. I'm going to go about here, go around my page because I don't need to be accurate with the page itself outside the page that is, click here and click roughly around here and then finish at the same place so I'm finishing at the same place so now that is drawn, I'm still drawing freehand as you remember uh, now I've got the gazebo, so I want to outline the gazebo and that's outline, and now I want to outline the conservatory because uh, I did suggest to the client that you can grow some things in the conservatory so again roughly outlining that ok 
click back at the origin so that's now drawn I want to um, um, now what I want to do is to assign colors and I'm going to hit S for my selection tool I'm going to hit escape to deselect this element to deselect all elements and now I'm going to hit 4 to show everything that I've got on my canvas so here in the bottom there's the palette of colors and the um, and the orange line is is the color that I use for uh, for any kinds of fences and obviously the the property is fenced uh, it's it sits in between two fences the on the, the top and the bottom um, so I'll hit number five now to see the page to zoom into the page and now with my selection tool I can select the top fence and I can open my fill and stroke um, dialog box you can again you can open it from the menu object fill and stroke and that will open it for you so that is um, that is a line now there are three tabs in the fill and stroke fill um, obviously will be relevant if I have a an object which actually has some area this is just a line so I'm going to skip that go to stroke paint and I'm going to hit my dropper tool pick colors from image I'm going to move to um, to to the line which I use as template and click on it and that changed the color I'm going to go to stroke style tab and I'm going to hit 3 and enter and I will increase the thickness to 1 to 3 um, so I'm done with um, with this for now um, I'm going to go down to my bottom border and do the same so I've got my stroke style I've got my stroke style tab open so I'm going to um, highlight this hit 3 enter and now is that is thicker I'm going to stroke paint tab take my dropper tool and click in the template and that is now set now I can go to my gazebo again I like the stroke style to be consistent so 3 enter stroke paint I'll take my dropper tool and I'll use the blue color which I use for structures I'll go to fill now there's no fill set I need to click on this first rectangle which says flat color if I hover and right now the the color as you can see is set to black I'll take my dropper tool and I'll click in the middle here click and now that is assigned and I can do the same thing with the conservatory again I can set the fill I can take my dropper tool and click in my template I can go to stroke paint and do the same now go to stroke style and change that to 3 enter so now that's that's changed um, as you can see I haven't got a template for the house but let's um, let's decide what to want what to make the house I could just use the same thing for structure let's actually just do it let's, um, let's use the same thing for uh, for structure so stroke style I'm going to first go to fill set my fill dropper tool click in my template go to stroke paint dropper tool click in my template go to stroke style click 3 hit enter that is now set and and this is and this is roughly how to set the structures um, the existing structures especially when you're drawing uh, your own structures you can do that um, as you can see as you can see this is all freehand I'd like to finish here and in the next uh, tutorial I will show you how to modify these elements so that they align better and that they're more accurate um, so that's it for today Thank you very much for watching. Please ask questions and tell me how I'm doing. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.